Hello everyone, today we'll be talking about toys, um, especially for the Christmas season. Now, just like, just like America, in Japan, Chris, uh, toy companies try to produce high market or fairly expensive toys around key shopping points. Christmas being one of them. Now, my last two reviews, I reviewed both these figures. Now, last year for Kamen Rider, we had Forze's motorcycle. Now, his motorcycle came with this robot. And it kind of, was kind of a nice vehicle because it allowed to, you to use two characters at once, as you see. You have one guy on a bike and you got one guy riding the robot. The robot has many transformations and it has an interesting sound effect that was very well played in the carts in the TV show. Now we're going to talk about Kamen Rider Wizard's bike but before that I want to quickly tell you that somebody in Williamsville New York loves you. We don't know who but we're looking into it. All right. Now, let's take a look at Wizard's motorcycle. I'm going to put this here for a moment. You'll see why. Bam! Now, as the camera zooms out, you can see that this box is quite big. In fact, this box could probably hold two of these guys comfortably. Okay, this is a fairly big toy. Now let's take a look at the box. DX Wizard Dragon and Machine Winga. Now the price I paid for it was 5,460 yen, which is an American Roughly about fifty-seven, fifty-eight dollars. Although fairly expensive, Bandai, the company, is asking for six thousand eight hundred twenty-five yen, roughly seventy-two, seventy-one American dollars. Just keep this in mind when you see this online, going for maybe eight, eighty dollars. You know, uh, eBay and other online stores they try to have a higher price. They need to, they, for whatever reason, okay? So here we have the dragon and the bike connected. Here we have the bike going onto the dragon. Here it shows it comes with one wizard ring. On the top of the box, I'm sorry for the glare, but you know, can't be helped at this, at this stage. We have the dragon on one side and on the other side we have the bike and the dragon being on the bike being on top of the dragon okay on the bottom we just have a CG shot of it and the toy by itself okay on the side another CG shot and here, the WAP or Wizard Action Please figure riding this bike. And on the back, we have again showing these things combining. We also have in this number two box showing this hyper kick which is rather one of the more impressive forms of the toy I felt showing how the ring can be used against the D, the wizard driver showing that it can be used against the gun and a Gamboride arcade game mentioned about how big the ring size is and we also have the four forms of the WAP now so far flame style and water style are out the hurricane style and ground style are set to be released in December. One towards the beginning and one towards the end. OK. 
Okay. Now, before we continue, do you notice anything interesting? You probably have not seen anything talking about any sound effects or any lights. And that is because this door this toy does not have any types of sound effects or lights. That's probably why it's so big. Okay, I'm going to save time, the whole process of taking it out, and just show you what the toy is. Now, first, let's move on to the ring. Now, I do not have a DX driver yet, nor do I, I don't know if I want one or not. But, this is the ring, and this is what the sound probably will be like. Okay, dragon eyes, please. Okay, so that's the sound the ring would make. I don't know the follow-up sound the belt would have, but it'll probably start off with something similar to Dragon Eyes, please. Now let's get into the bike. Now, the bike has these little training wheels, which keeps it relatively steady, although it does look goofy. Okay, it has a peg for standing. And this is for the, the riding kick motion later on, I'll show you. And he fits pretty well under the toy, under, under the bike. Now, articulation points for this bike, of course, will go, coincide with the transformations of the dragon. But let's go into the, the bike by itself. First, for the rider kick, which is the simplest, rise this up, and you have a peg hole, a peg here, and a little cliff that will connect to the dragon, both the peg and the cliff. To form into the flying dragon, you split this in half. Sorry, you raise the seat up a little bit, and you split it as so. It looks like a very thin bird. Now one thing that's kind of nice is the detail in the inside of the bike. On the wheel is his little circle emblem, which kind of looks nice. Okay, I'm going to put this aside for now. Let's get to the dragon, the big guy. He is fairly big and fairly well articulated too. Um, one point of articulation that I don't really like is his jaw. And that's because it's kind of hard to grab a hold and get to open. But he can yawn, he or munch or chew. His neck slides in, but that's for a comment. When you get him out of the box, you'll have to pull out the neck. And it also is for one of the transformations. His four paws are fairly poseable. And his hind legs are also fairly poseable. His wings flap and they move up slightly. And his head, or his neck moves up. His tail, for this mode is fairly stagnant. It does move for another mode though. To connect the... and as you see we have these peg holes. And this will be for the bike. Let's connect it. They connect fairly easily as such. I said easily! No, sorry. I, the head, the neck was a little bit too off. Okay, there we go. Now there we are. One thing about the connection points is there is a connection. There are two connection points on the back, but there's really nothing to connect these things so they can stay in place. They do though have, and I'm not sure if you can see it. They do have 
something to hold them up. Okay. So you can move the wings to hold them up to support them, but you also have a bit of an arch on the shoulder bones to hold up the wings. Okay. Now this is kind of cool, but it's also kind of big. One thing that's really nice is that the color of gray is the same color, so they kind of blend together. Now I'm going to remove this for now. Okay, these were the archers that supported the wings. Now let's transform this guy into the kick. So first you got like this, these wings fold up. Now these wings have a peg hold and a peg that combine. And they also have a hole and a smaller peg right on towards the back of the wings. These hind legs, like so. And this is a part that kind of is a little bit difficult sometimes for me to do. Okay. I'm sorry, I forgot to note that the back of the tail moves as such. Now, as I mentioned, putting this tail in, a di in this position is kind of difficult but c because usually this pops off. But it can pop right back on. And as we are bringing this down, here on the bottom of the beast, we have a peg and a peg hold on the tail. So this forms into a giant foot. A giant dragon foot and shin, which is fairly impressive for me. Okay, now the time we have left, let's quickly connect this to the bike. Okay, bike. Now here we have the peg hole and the slot for the cliff. Here we also have indentation for the foot of common rider. So we slide this in as such, and if you can balance Common Rider, you put his foot as such here, and his other foot on this peg, and you have his flying super kick that he's done on some of the bigger robots. And for a Christmas toy, I think it's relatively impressive, just because of this dragon foot mode. Um, the dragon in itself is pretty in interesting, and the m lack of sound effects works, but then again, it doesn't detract anything at all. Okay, it would be nice to have a, a war, like a sound effect, but it does come with a ring that does create a sound effect if you have the special weapons you know anyways that's it and thank you for watching if you have any comments please feel free to comment but i will just double check and approve of all comments thank you three two